Hello everyone, uh, this is Rod from Rod's uh, Drone and uh, Tech Channel here. Uh, today I'm uh, getting ready to do the uh, firmware update on the uh, DJI Smart Controller. I will put the, uh, the version number here in the video. And I'm using the uh, DJI Assistant 2 on my um, MacBook Pro uh, on the desktop app. You cannot do it through the just the controller's updating feature it'll um, act like it's working but it actually won't so you have to use the dgi um, assistant uh, too uh, on your computer so um, with no further ado let's get started okay i have um you know plugged in my uh dgi smart controller via the uh cable that comes with it the uh usb c to uh usb a and i've have it plugged in in my little handy uh, hub here to my MacBook. But uh, as you can see, once I turn the uh, controller on, it says no, new remote controller version available, uh, go check. And as you can see, I have the app uh, up on my computer. So uh, let's hit uh, go check and see what happens next. All right, new version detected. Current version details, new version details. The new version is v01.00.0650 and i'm going to hit the update button so let's hit that button and okay there it's saying downloading and there's some of the uh stuff that's going to change here we've already read the number off it says update when battery is over 20 percent and memory space is over three gigabytes okay i'm i'm good on those accounts plus i have the controller plugged in uh, what's new? Uh, added a uh, quick fly function. Quick fly can be enabled in settings. Once enabled, the remote controller automatically enters the camera view of the DJI Go 4 after powering on the remote controller is already paired with the aircraft. And that's very important because uh, when you do start the smart controller, I mean, it is real slow and sluggish at first. And it takes, uh, you know, a couple minutes before you're actually in the, uh, the DJI Go 4 app. So I like this a lot. What's See if we could scroll down. Okay, sorry for the shaky camera. I'm doing this kind of handheld. Okay, next is add SkyTalk. Uh, go to the DJI lab under settings to enable. Once SkyTalk is enabled, the live view from the aircraft can be shared with friends via third-party social media apps. Well, that is wonderful because... Um, uh, the smart controller did a bad job of streaming uh, to uh, either Facebook or... Um, YouTube, uh, you know, for people who want to uh, stream live to their YouTube channels. Uh, Mel over 400 GL worked a, did a real nice workaround to get to get it working to stream to <coughs> YouTube, uh, your YouTube channels. But I'm glad they um, they recognize this and they uh, made it a lot easier. So okay, let's scroll down to the next one here. <coughs> Sorry, I got a little cough here. Optimize the process of selecting the default storage location, uh, reduce the frequency with which the smart controller would restart. Now, um, I haven't encountered uh, this uh, select in the you know, process of selecting the default storage location. I mean, I usually have it always go to the uh, memory card, but it must have been an issue for some people. Uh oh, we got something going on here. Installation package downloaded. Do you want to update now? Yeah, we want to update, don't we? Okay. Yeah, it's funny I'm getting no reaction over here in the screen. I wonder if I'm actually doing this right. I wonder if it's um, if it's just doing it uh, over the air here. Let's see what it says. Update again. Yeah, you know what? I, I, did, I showed you how to do it wrong. I'm just doing it through the controller. You need to do it through the uh, computer here. So let's go over wrong here. Wrong way to do this. Um, what you do is you ignore what's... Um, you know, going on in the uh, controller there, and you go here, you, once you get it plugged in, you get this, I must not have it properly plugged in, you get this DJI uh, smart controller icon in your uh, DJI assistant app. So let's give it a, uh, a little double click there. And here we got something going on here. All right, here we have a couple different choices here. So we wanna do the latest version and we want to do upgrade. It's the top one there. You can see the upgrade is highlighted in the blue there. So let's uh, let's go ahead and hit that. So that's right. Sorry for the shaky camera work here. Um, during the whole upgrade process, the following uh, items are required. Computer connected to the internet. 
a DJI device powered on a USB connection. Okay, let's start that update. All right, so now we're showing you the right way to update this. Again, we beginning we showed you the wrong way to update. So um, as we're watching this, let me um, keep reading the um, things here. Um, a controller, okay, added audio recording during the screen recordings. During the recording uh, of the screen, go to the sound settings to disable or enable the uh, audio recording for screen recording. Well, that's great. Um, I don't know if the uh, smart controller will be actually, yeah, well, the smart controller will be doing it itself. So um, I don't know if you could add mics, external mics or anything to that, but uh, that will be a much, uh, you know, appreciated feature, especially for YouTubers. Add an electronic quick start guide for a smart controller. It's always a good thing. Uh, the firmware upgrade version contains important updates. Smart controller can only be updated to this version through the DJI Assistant 2. Of course, why does it even attempt to do it through the controller then? Um, and follow the steps in the system update section of DJI Smart Controller User Manual. Okay. So. Alrighty. So we're waiting here. We're 70... 5% done on the uh, download here. So um, we're moving right along here. Sorry about the pop ups on the screen there. All right. Now, the controller, this is what's read on the controller now. I wonder what kind of acknowledgement I'll get on the controller when it's done. So, okay, we're back here. We're 99% done. So. And sometimes these updates, they always go 99 and they hang for a long time. Yep, zero. Okay, now it's, okay, it's transmitting now. And still, I got no acknowledgement on the smart control that anything's going on. So back here again. Yeah, so I, I, I think uh, that, uh, you know, the quick start thing with it going right to the DJI Go For app, it, it'll be a big upgrade. And I also like the fact that you'll be able to do auto recordings with the, um, what do you call that, the uh, screen recorder. So, I mean, both those features uh, I'm going to be a real big fan of. Um, so, kudos to DJ, DJI for adding uh, those on. And, uh, of course, uh, after we get all this done, it's a nice day today. So, hopefully, I'll be able to go out and test these things in the field for you. So, you know, it's always... So that's always good in theory, but it's also nice to test them in the field. So I want to pause this here while we're watching this here. Well, maybe I won't, because maybe you want to you want to see how long this stuff takes in real time here. I mean, I'm using, you know, a, a fairly fast Comcast internet. I don't know the exact uh, download speeds, but you know, just um, you know, kind of the, the standard. I'm going to say or the standard good. I don't know if I have Blast. I don't even know the buzz names for these Comcast packages anymore, but um, Anyhow, um, we're at 65% and rolling along. Speaking of Comcast, I have the Comcast guide coming out today to uh, check the TV connections here, but um, Internet's fine. So, yeah, this kind of, uh, this update kind of caught me by surprise. I think it was just like two days ago I saw it pop up that there was an update for the smart controller. And I said, oh, wow. I mean, I know... Um, my friend Bill, the drone reviewer, has been running a beta version of the uh, smart controller uh, software for a while now. One that enabled him to uh, fly his uh, Phantom 4 V2 O. But uh, I heard that uh, this update will won't have uh, the ability to fly the Phantom 4 V2. So uh, that will be a disappointment for a lot of people. All right, here we're uploading again. So I'm definitely going to stop this because nobody wants to watch all this stuff. I'll, I'll let you know how long it took. Okay, uh, the screen says we're at 98% to uploading and the uh, controller has rebooted itself. So, uh, what to say here? Installing system update. So that's where we're at now. Okay, it looks like uh, we finished the updating the uh, smart controller and we're rebooting right now. Strangely though, our screen over here still says 98%, uh, but uh, we're rebooting over here. Okay, so we're, um, this is totally rebooted.
but this is still stuck at 98%. Interesting. So, um, let's uh, check this out here. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, let's go into um, the settings here and see if we really did get the update, whether it really did take. So, we're going to hit settings, and we're going to scroll down here to... System update. And it says the uh, current version details is V01.00.0650. Which is the current firmware update that we were trying to get over here. Which still uh, still says we're uploading. So updating. So uh, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, I guess... This little bug in the thing here it doesn't complete on the computer screen, even though the smart controller claims it had it. So I guess the next step is to see if these new features work on the uh, smart controller with this. Um, I'm going to call it the 065 update. All right, I'm going to start up the uh, Mavic 2 uh, Pro now. Okay, you can hear it. Goes the gimbal. So now let's go over here and start up the uh, smart controller. And see if it goes right to the uh, DJI uh, Go4 app. I thought it would actually open the uh, app for me, but uh, okay, here's still another download. Uh, resource data initializing. Uh, I gotta agree to some terms here. Okay, once I agree, join a product improvement project, yeah, why not? All right. So again, I, I thought I would go right into the app and not even see that screen where I had to hit go, but um, maybe I did something wrong or maybe this is the, the you know, the best you can do. Uh, I'm not quite sure. So, um, but that was it. Got it figured out here. Now, uh, in the uh, settings uh, on the smart controller, you want to go to DJI Lab. And uh, you see where it says fly immediately. The default is off. Restart the system to take effect. So uh, that was off. I've already hit the blue button on. But you have to have that checked so that um, when you start the drone and the control, you immediately go into the DJI Go 4 app and not have to, um, you know, uh, navigate there from the main screen. All right. We figured that out. All right. Um, here's some other things here. Um, you know, we found uh, the um, camera lock thing here. Once enabled, uh, if the user press the focus shutter or the record button when a DJI Go 4 app is not running or in the background, no photo will be taken or the video will be recorded. Hmm. D don't know what that is. It's on by default. Um, and control stick some compatibility. Oops. Sorry, I keep uh, going to sleep here. Uh, when enabled, third-party apps can use the control sticks. That's off by default. wonder what third-party apps are using the control sticks, but uh, it's interesting. All right. Let's Be test right this out once again since we enabled that, that last setting. Okay, so we're going to start the uh, Maverick 2 Pro. All right, it's doing its gimbal calibration there. So let's go over to the smart controller and start it up. All right, so let's keep it on the screen here and see if it goes right into the Go4 app. You can even time how fast this thing takes to boot up here. All right, it did. It booted right into the Go4 app with the safety tips and didn't go to the main screen, so that is... Very handy, because you saw it took a while to boot up anyways, and 
if it boot up into the settings, that would even be another how many seconds before you actually got uh, into the Go4 app and got it running. So, uh, okay, this was a successful uh, test here. Well, this is Ron here today with the uh, DJI Smart Controller. I did the uh, firmware upgrade that just came out this week. I did it today. Uh, we're going to take the um, the Mavic 2 Pro out for a little flight. Uh, one of the first things that the upgrade does is it uh, it, it quickly launches the uh, DJI Go 4 app. You don't have to see the menu and all the other stuff on the screen. You go right to the app. So that'll help you get uh, you know a quick launch. And I'm near sunset here, so I can't be fooling around I need to get up and uh, get this bird in the air so this feature will come in handy so we will see you in a minute all right uh, we're gonna start this bird up here all right now we're gonna get the uh, the smart controller going here We're waiting for it to load. This usually takes a few. It seems to easy take a good, I don't know, just guessing. 60 seconds to boot up here. So, uh, okay, we're expecting it to boot up to the, Go, the DJI Go 4 app and not, uh, and it did. It booted right into the uh, DJI Go 4 app. So perfect, we can get up in the air uh, quickly here. So, and it also said, um, it could stream. Maybe we'll try that during this flight too, but we just want to get up in here and get some video right now. So we're going to take off uh, right from this bulkhead. Alrighty, let's see here. We have uh, 11 satellites. Uh, you know, we're kind of uh, protected here. So as soon as we take off, we'll, we'll jump up to a whole bunch more satellites. So here we go.